welcome everybody. I'm going to talk about uh, using the new uh, uh, you know, archive system for uh, Senate uh, committee uh, materials. So first off, uh, I'm going to assume that you have no idea what we're doing, so I'm going to show you how to log in and find it. So here we are at the York uh, you know, main page. So we go to faculty and staff. We go down to York website CMS and we click that. And uh, then we type in our uh, username. This is the uh, email, uh, you know, uh, username and password pair. And you don't have to put uh, the uh, at york.cuny.edu. Uh, and then type in your password for your email and click login. And then uh, you'll have. Uh, you know this uh, option of my uh, committees so just click that and so uh, what I've done is I went to uh, Raphael in the computer center and I had him set up uh, two uh, committees for me or two folders for me uh, faculty caucus and governance and uh, of course depending upon how we decide about releasing information to the general uh, col uh, college uh, you know, uh, community and beyond that uh, more things would show up here but right now the only committees that I am associated with is the faculty caucus and governance and so I've started to populate with documents the faculty caucus web uh, uh, pages so let's take a look so uh, since we've completed 2017-2018 uh, we see here uh, you know uh, it's things that I put in uh, while creating it you know, this month. Uh, so uh, I put in some listing of things such as results of the spring election, uh, which of course is critical to know as we move forward. Uh, the faculty caucus membership for 1718. That information I wish I had past caucus memberships and the standing committees in the fall of uh, 2017. I've also created uh, two folders, one for agendas, and here's a listing of the agendas uh, for the uh, different uh, meetings, and then for minutes. And so this is here, and regardless of who's going to be chair of the uh, faculty caucus in the future, this information will uh, serve as a permanent archive. Also, besides a permanent archive. Here is our current year, 2018-2019. Uh, so I have useful information. This is my updated uh, faculty caucus member list. And uh, don't have an agenda yet, but here is one of our first uh, orders of business in our meeting in a couple of weeks. We have to approve the minutes from the last meeting, which was May 8th, 2018. And so another function this can serve is that now, uh, and I'll show you how I'll set it up in a minute, but I've set this up so that all of the current faculty caucus members have access to this. So I can just tell them now, if you want to see the minutes, just go to uh, the uh, page uh, on the CMS system, on the committee CMS system. We have to figure out a name to call this. And so now, instead of like, uh, you know, going back, some, uh, you know, faculty caucus senators uh, complain about, like, doing things just on email. They say that, well, I have to go back and search emails to find the minutes or to find the agendas, and isn't there some place that we can put them? And so for the, you know, for the uh, uh, upcoming meeting in two weeks, uh, here this is, and uh, anybody can go here and look at this. They know exactly where to find it, and they don't have to search their uh, email folders or go into deleted emails or whatever. So, uh, and then I've done that for the faculty caucus, and what I'm going to do is illustrate uh, how to set things up and how to add different people uh, using the governance committee, which I really haven't touched. So. Uh, again, uh, IT Raphael uh, set up this folder and then gave me permissions. And so I'm going to click it. And I've, oh, I've already put a 2018-19 uh, folder in there. Oh yeah, I know why, because 
you know, I'm going to illustrate uh, how to do things by setting up uh, for the, uh, you know, old material from 2017-18. So first off, I'm going to go and make sure I'm here at the governance, uh, you know, folder. Now what I'd like to do is add people with different permissions. And so what I'm going to do is... Where is it? Go to sharing and click on sharing, and here are the list of users. And uh, again, I have been given uh, the appropriate permissions by uh, Raphael when he created this uh, to do things to the folders. Uh, this is unchecked. If we would check this, like can view like this that means that everybody logged in to the York system that includes faculty and students and whoever else has an account on the system could view this folder and again that is something that we need to decide and we can also do this for individual documents uh, so that's uh, you know, one thing that we can decide upon for the future. But now what I'd like to do is I'd like to add uh, Emmanuel Chang. He's the secretary of the committee. So I'd like to add him and uh, I've typed in the first part of his email address and that's what it's going to search for. If you would type in Chang uh, the search could be very long. Giving the search more of the email address makes it shorter. <laughs> and here we have E. Chang. So uh, he's going to be a committee member, so he can view this. And also, since he's the secretary, he would be adding minutes, so he can add. And I am going to keep the edit and review functions to myself because I am the chair of the committee and I'm in charge of creating uh, different folders or different uh, or changing permissions. So I'm going to keep that to myself. And that has been checked, inherit permissions from higher levels, and keep that checked please. And so we click Save. And now we see there are two members in the group, me and Emmanuel. Uh, and so now I want to add a, uh, you know, another member, a Gina Barnes. So, a, yes. and click search. And there's a Gina. Now, uh, she should be able to view and all, but she is... Uh, not the secretary and not the chair of the committee. So the question is, should she be able to add documents? And in general, we would say no, that committee members, the information is flowing just one way from the executives of the committee to the members. So we would not check can add. Uh, you know, Agena can only use this uh, as a source of information, not to disseminate information. But of course, that is based on the desire of me, the chair of this committee. Uh, uh, we could certainly choose differently. So I click Save. And so then uh, we go back to Page View. And so now, uh, you know, uh, Emmanuel has uh, the clearance or the permissions to view and also to add documents uh, for this page and also any uh, subordinate pages. So automatically Emmanuel and uh, Agena have the permissions I gave them for this page in this folder and any other folders I make. And so now what I need to do is I need to upload material from last year. There's a lot of information from last year that I'd like people on the committee this year to have. So what I would do is I would go to Add, and I'm going to add a folder. And the title of the folder will be 2017 to 2018 academic year. And that's the ID and create and edit.
folder description is empty and then save. And so if I go back to the governance committee, I should see uh, 2018, 2019, and then the new uh, folder I created, 2017, 2018. And also, because I gave Emmanuel and Agena permissions here in governance, they have it for both of these, the same permissions for both of these folders. If I wanted to, for some reason, I would, I could change the permissions for this folder, uh, possibly taking to change away from Emmanuel because this is an archive and nobody should be able to change it. Uh, but that's up to the uh, individual committee and their individual needs. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to add information here. So what I'm going to do is first, uh, yeah, no, I think uh, I could create a subfolder if I wanted to, but I think what I'll just do is add a document. So I go here. And now here, if we go next to add, it says upload, and that's what I want. So I click upload, and now very, very important. This is very important. Hey folks, this is very important. You need to specify upload location. Click that. Uh, do I want it to go into governance 2017-2018? Yep, I do. Done. Now, you'd say, wait a second, that's wrong. Backley governance, to that. yeah, that should work. Done. Well, let's see if it works. It should say the whole thing. No, I think this is going to mess up. And I'm going to have to edit this. Okay, so let's open files. York, Senate, uh, 2017, Charter, Charter, Amendments, Charter Amendments from Petition, Charter Petition. Let's just uh, choose this, the upload. And so I have Charter Petition, uh, uh, petition 1212, and I need to give it a title, but that's all I need to do. I don't need to give it a summary. I could if I wanted to, and I don't need to give it tags. Uh, so I'm ready to upload this and these two buttons here are very important. Now first off, this is another warning, don't click done. You first have to upload this and you upload it with the green check mark. And there it goes and it has been uploaded. Now you can click done and leave this page. And now I am going to refresh this page and yes, it didn't, it didn't screw up. It went to the right folder. Charter Partition 121218. And this document is secured for posterity. And I believe I've done everything I wanted to. Log in and find it, illustrate use, add people, create folder, add document. This is all that you need to know in order to do this. Uh, the important thing is when you're uploading documents, indicate a location that you're uploading it to and make sure it's where you're putting it, uh, is where you want it. And then second, the green check mark. Click the green check mark. And beyond that, things should work just fine. Thank you.